what is good guys so if you can tell it's a little bit darker outside but <clears throat> news yeah boy is a certified racer We are at Chuckwalla. I just got here and uh, got everything set up for the most part. But yeah, this is round two of me attempting to get my license. So <clears throat> I already got the schedules and whatnot. Uh, I'll still be going out with the new racer school uh, group uh, and wearing the same little orange vest again. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I feel pretty good about today. So I think we're gonna not think but we are gonna come out with a license today boys uh definitely gonna try to get some track footage today as well because uh, that's something that over the past couple videos haven't had a chance really to get so uh i got about an hour probably before going out in the next session so i'm gonna try to just relax a little bit eat a little snack and then um make sure everything's set up so we can get to it i'll see you guys in a bit back from the first set my first session of the day uh i got since i got here a little bit later they had already started going in the morning but uh yeah so i definitely can feel it not being uh on the track since october but it's all right we're we're slow but we're out here to to get better and not go down this time so uh, i didn't record any footage of that session but I will this next time out and uh, also gonna take my lap timer with me. So I wasn't expecting to really do so well just going back out there, but I'm getting a feel for the track. Like when I was here before, like as the day went on and more sessions I did, obviously I got more comfortable. So I'm sure that I'll, I'll get more comfortable out there later on in the afternoon and then probably take a little break and be ready for the mock race and, and then and knock that out. But uh, yeah, I'll have uh, hopefully get some good footage and uh, so I can add that to the video.
back from my second session. Uh, had a moment out there on track. I ended up going in, <coughs> into the dirt, but it's all good. We, we got back on track, <coughs> shook it off, and felt like I did a lot better. Um, I was carrying a lot more speed in the corners, and the biggest thing I'm trying to work on right now is just my vision, uh, looking ahead further down track, and just being more stable in the corners, not making a lot of like mistakes and corrections while I've got the bike leaned over. But other than that, yeah, it felt really good. Uh, there's still probably about five minutes left in the session, but I didn't want to, you know, be out there and just beat myself up. But yeah, bike is handling pretty well. Let me look and see. So I've been racing with the Racer 3 and NRS, which is the new racer school. So it just came off at 1240. So next session is at two o'clock. And 320 and the mock race is at five o'clock. So I'll probably do one more of those last two sessions and then just chill out for the mock race. It's like 1.30 right now. Uh, there's two more sessions left. Uh, so I thought the mock race was at five, uh, but I guess not because we're in winter technically. It uh, gets darker sooner, so it's at four. So I'll do one more session uh, and sit out the one right before the mock race and just kind of relax a little bit, eat a snack or something, and then do the mock race at four. <laughs> so when I did the new racer school back in October um, there was like 20 something people in that in that school and in that mock race it was insane um, but I just went and checked in with like the instructor there's only two other people in the school <clears throat> excuse me Bruh. in the in the school this time so there'll only be three of us on track in the mock race so probably be for a very uh uneventful you know not a lot of action going on out there so definitely just gonna take my time and you know just not try to push anything uh make sure i finish it so we get this license and then uh we'll see about uh staying the night and registering tomorrow to do some racing but uh, and i also kind of feel like you know i want to get the the first race out the way uh, you know, just so I can say I did because that's what this whole journey has been about, you know, getting getting my license doing some racing and biggest thing today is uh, Been trying to just focus on like having fun, you know, I came out today by myself <coughs> um, So I'm just kicking it uh, Trying to have fun on track not take it, you know, too seriously or get too much into my head and You know, just just get better. So that's what we're gonna do but uh I would definitely have to get the camera recording for you guys uh, on this next, this, well, pretty much my last session before the mock race uh, so I can get some track footage. Uh, second session out was feeling pretty good. I did go off in the dirt a little bit, uh, but like I said again before, uh, working on my vision, just looking ahead through the corners, making sure that I'm not, you know, taking anything, cutting anything off and go exiting wide. So. It's a, it's a process and we'll get there. But uh, I'll catch you guys when we do the next session and then uh, for the mock race.
but it's good guys so if you can tell it's a little bit darker outside but <clears throat> news yeah boy it's a certified racer so just finished up the the mock race successfully got through it with no crashing uh, like i said there's only three of us <clears throat> i thought i hit record on my camera uh for the mock race but i did not but i'm gonna try to go around and see if like somebody might have some footage of at least the start uh so i can maybe get that and then try to throw it in the video for you guys but overall it was a good experience <coughs> um there's a couple like older guys uh in the mock race with me and they, they were way faster than me i definitely came in last but like i said it wasn't really trying to like you know go for no records or push my boundaries just out there having fun uh just trying to get it done so that we could get the the license and goal was achieved so still unsure if i'm going to uh sign up for a race in the morning yeah <laughs> uh so still thinking on that um might just go ahead and do it because either way i probably will stay here for the night because i don't want to to drive back uh while it's dark um so yeah I'll, I'll probably go ahead and register for a race tomorrow so we can knock that one off the bucket list too so uh yeah appreciate you guys for for tuning in we, we definitely got more more to come Hey, yo, what's good, guys? <clears throat> Sorry. So it's about 6.30, and man, man, it's cold in a mug outside right now. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting up pretty much. Well, I've been up since like five something. I uh, got up and went and showered and everything. Uh, but I'm now back at the <clears throat> back at the spot, trying to get everything ready. I did end up uh, registering for a race last night and got the bike all teched up and everything um it's gonna be doing amateur super sport middleweight that's the only race i signed up for that i could do up more races but uh i don't re i didn't really want to be here all day and i mean the main goal was just you know to start the first race complete the first race we got the license yesterday uh so gonna be doing the race today but they're gonna be in the next few minutes gonna be uh getting started pretty soon uh registration and tech is going to open up again for like another hour and then they're also going to start qualifying <clears throat> do riders meeting and national anthem and then start racing here all in the next probably about two to three hours so uh <clears throat> yeah i'm gonna get some stuff uh squared away i got the truck running right now with the heat on inside because your boy does not like the cold so hopefully it gets warm today it's supposed to i think be like 62 or yeah in the 60s throughout the day um but i'm sure just because we're out here once the sun breaks out and starts heating things up it'll feel a little bit warmer uh, i did get pretty windy last night as well i actually had to lower my canopy i raised it back up now but i lowered it all the way down and it's tethered to like the the truck and then i had the fuel can down here oh yeah also got my numbers all marked and taped up i did that last night as well oh that actually reminds me i need to put one on the tail section i'll probably do that here in a little bit but uh yeah so just gonna be getting ready um and then try to get some uh some actual foot i will get some footage of of the race today especially the start i gotta go pick up a transponder because i didn't get one yesterday after registration that records like lap times and stuff for qualifying uh man i'm starting to shake but uh yeah get you get you guys updated uh as we go throughout the day and get some racing footage so i'll catch you guys in a bit hey so i just got back from 
the writers meeting and the playing of the national anthem <clears throat> i didn't get any footage of uh qualifying this morning it was really windy and pretty cold but i just went in and saw the times <clears throat> so out of 28 uh gridded i am 23rd <laughs> so it'll be starting from row eight middle so hopefully we'll see if we can catch a few couple spots on the race start at the launch <clears throat> and then see if maybe like hold some people off or gain some positions who knows maybe i'll be able to tell behind some people uh maybe i can find some pace and and make some passes but either way <coughs> we gonna have fun uh, but i definitely will i charged up both my gopros <coughs> so i'm gonna have a a rear one on and a one right above the tank so we will get some race footage and i will have that in for you guys this video because i know that's all the people want to see is the bike on track they don't you guys don't want to see me talking <clears throat> but uh i just yeah wanted to give an update for that i'm chilling now like in the truck just cause, so i can get away from the wind um and ordered a little lunch <clears throat> so i'm gonna eat that while i wait they're just doing the call for race one right now and it is 11 almost 11 30 <clears throat> so you got race one which is formula middleweight and i am race nine so it'll probably be a couple hours or so uh probably i'd say <coughs> three hours at max maybe uh until until my <coughs> until my race i cannot get over this cough um but hopefully by then you know it there are plenty of races will have happened before my race so the track will be warm um uh, yeah I, I can't wait i don't i can't say that i feel nervous or anything um i mean i am nervous but i don't feel like like an anxious or anything uh i really just want to like get out there and see how i do um so yeah that's it i'll uh i'll insert the footage when when we finish the race so you guys can see that and uh <laughs> let you know overall uh what the standings were at the end of it as well but yeah I'll uh I'll update you guys on that when I get it.
face. Your boy finished. I don't know what I finished, but uh, so I was initially I was late getting out to they called final call and I was late getting to the track. So they just barely let me take the siding lap. I was almost like a half a track down from the siding lap. So I'm last one to grid uh, and I'm just like the guys are on the track. They're like waving me to go faster. I'm like, I don't, I don't want to push on the siding lap, you know, but that and that's that's my fault. They call a final call. I hopped on the bike, but I guess I took too long. Um, but yeah, so we started off. I probably could have gotten a better start, but I did an okay start uh, and I ended up into turn one. I was inside basically second to last place, uh, but the bike on the outside of me got a drive out. So for like the first two, three laps of the race, I was like dead last and I'm sitting there. I'm on this bike thinking like, what did I get myself into? Uh, I'm pretty much keeping the same pace with the one bike in front of me was a CBR and then there was another uh, I believe another CBR and another 636 having their own battle like few like almost a corner a corner and a half ahead of me uh, and I'm just back there just trying to like ride a good ride find a good line um, probably after the halfway point uh, I just I started getting a little corner speed on the CBR um, I tried to pass in the on the outside in the bowl but I didn't have a good drive out <laughs> so I, I kind of backed off before the next corner and then I think I got the pass on the back straight and I was like all right cool like I'm finally making some pace and then the two bikes fighting in front of me I like I started gaining on them and I don't know if I was like gaining pace riding better or if they were starting to slow down a bit because it was second half of the race but I ended up getting by both of them as well and at this point like I'm ecstatic I'm probably like 20 something place but I'm not last anymore and I'm having fun and I feel like I'm, I've am i been doing some of the best riding that I've been doing all weekend because this morning's qualifying was horrible. Um, so like I finally feel like I'm like having fun on the bike and I'm, I'm in my first race like doing what I wanted to do this whole time. So I'm pretty ecstatic right now. Um, so ecstatic. Know what time it is? Yo, Dr. Pepper, sponsor your boy. I was saving this. Yes, I was saving this for after the race. is not all I drink I drink plenty of water so I don't want you guys thinking you know I'm just out here killing sodas all the time I kind of do but I also make sure I drink enough water but yeah I, I got some footage for you guys too as well so I got rear rear camera and the front, front camera so once we get that edited we will we'll have some good stuff going on Probably got the most wear out of the tires as well on that race. I'm starting to get a little slippery uh, a couple times actually. Midway through the bowl, uh, I felt the rear um, kind of like just slide out a little bit. Um, I, that could have been anything. I don't know. My like, tire pressure seemed fine when I came back, uh, according to. <coughs> Uh, Dale with Racer's Edge, what what he recommended for the Q5. So it could be anything. It could be track surface, tire pressure, suspension, rider air. Uh, 
But yeah, overall, I had fun. It's what time is it? It's about 2:30 right now. So I finished sooner than I thought I would, which is great for me because I'm about to actually load up and uh, head back home. Because uh, I only signed up for the one race. That's all I wanted to do. And I want to see my wife and son. So uh, I will get this footage edited for you guys. So you can finally see some track footage. Finally see something interesting. Um, and fingers crossed. Hopefully we should be back here in April with, with Andrew, uh, John, and Bill. Hopefully. So that will be cool to actually get on track with those guys and race with those guys as well. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm really excited. Hopefully that I can, you know, keep doing this. I know <coughs> this season's almost over for the winter season, CBMA, but uh, we got, you know, the, the next season coming up in October. So we'll see if we can do more rounds uh, by then, get some more track riding in and get them lap times down because that's what it's about. Next goal is, uh, well, I'll have to see what times I, I had, but I'll find out what times I got during that race and then we'll set a goal for a new lap time. So, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. I know I seemed a bit gloomy earlier in the other portions of the video, um, but it was, it was just a gloomy day up until now. I mean, it's been mostly clear, but it's been hella windy all day. It was cloudy in the morning. Uh, yesterday was mo like mostly cloudy. It almost looked like it was gonna rain on the mock race. But overall, beautiful day. Blessed to be here. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.